So this is another external GPU setup. Uh, this time we have a GTX 970 and uh, an NUC type computer. So this is a BBOX S, um, which is an i3 6100U um, NUC. I know what you're thinking. The Homer. Uh, although it's not the prettiest of setups, it does make for a very small desktop um, and, and one that runs surprisingly well. So the way this one came about, uh, I actually ordered uh, another EXP GDC and this arrived, so this was uh, the new version, so it's got dual HDMI inputs so that we actually get a, a much faster PCI connection, so it's got a PCI 3, you can see here, um, times 4 connection, which in terms of actual um, bandwidth is faster than uh, Thunderbolt 3 so you can see on this CUDA Z it's actually scoring about 25% above um, what you would get over a Thunderbolt 3 connection. Setup was straightforward uh, with this one, no major headaches, it just required the internal Intel drivers uh, for the graphics to be disabled but apart from that everything runs pretty good. Uh, I guess the whole thing could be smaller with a smaller card but it's a full length graphics card that's fitted. So in terms of storage uh, inside the device, there's a 2.5 inch drive, so it's just got a little SSD in it at the moment. Um, and then we've got an external SSD as well, just for a little extra storage. And um, we were able to tuck uh, the cables in reasonably tidy uh, around this side. So let's see what it can do in, in terms of performance. So we'll run a few game tests here. So starting with Doom, uh, this is set to max settings at the moment at 1080p. And you can see from the, uh, it's actually in the Vulkan version as well, but running at the top you can see it, it stays pretty stable at around 60 frames a second. I'll put a link below to the um, to where I actually bought the XP GDC from because this one seems to vary in price quite a bit um, for this particular one with the M2 connection. Rise of the Tomb Raider has been quite interesting for these because on my other external GPU setup it actually struggled a little bit, um, particularly on these benchmark bits, um, to, to maintain uh, 60 frames. But this one, this one seems to actually perform better than my other setup, which is a quad core with a 1060. So I guess that the link speed really does matter in this game. Uh, in what it's doing but this one again I mean I've, I've cranked the settings up to very high and you know it stays pretty constant somewhere between kind of 46 frames 45 46 and 60 frames for a lot of the times so anyway there's something really busy that it, it tends to go below about 55 but it looks good actually and uh, very smooth As always, Street Fighter V runs uh, superbly well, so this is set to max uh, settings at the moment. Um, pretty constant, 60 frames, occasional 58, but I, I guess it just kind of flits around. But but runs very smooth, very well, and uh, looks fantastic. With the new Resident Evil 7 I actually can't seem to get any um, frame per second overlay at the moment uh, out of it so you can't, there's no, no readout on this one but it's running really quite smooth um, and looks fantastic actually so I haven't got to play this one very much yet, literally just starting out but, uh, but runs extremely well it seems so far and again graphic settings are basically set very high um, at 1080p again. With some 3D mark um, benchmarking, so just running through Time Spy, this one shows in actually a little less than my other setup. This one really seems to be 
hobbled by the um, by the i3 6100U CPU and um, just seemed to limit the, the CPU and the physics scores but still pretty good it's within 10% of a, a setup uh, that, that, that they have as a reference setup for a 970 with a quad core i5 so not bad at all so overall it probably could be prettier it probably could be faster with a different card and it certainly could be smaller but at the moment I think this is about one of the smallest kind of builds that you could do um, to build yourself a gaming desktop um, and performance as I say is fantastic on this and, and costs actually pretty low compared to some of the dedicated um, sort of smaller um, all-in-one gaming PCs that you can buy I'm very pleased with it now so uh, you know let me know what you think in the comments underneath